Hey there, Kazan here, and welcome back to Always Doing. If you saw my February wrap-up part one, you'll remember that I was having a great reading month, and I finished four books in the first two weeks, which is as many as I finished in all of January. I was so excited and hopeful, and yeah, the second half didn't quite go that well. While I'll be talking about four books today, I only finished two of them, and two of the four were slump inducing, unfortunately. So yeah, let's get right into it. First is Addicted by Charlotte Stein, and I picked this up because a reviewer that I love and trust and has a similar reading taste to me liked it quite a bit, and I was like, sure, this isn't exactly my usual, but I'll jump right in. The story, it's, it's a well-worn trope in romance where a romance reader or a romance writer will have all of these sexual fantasies on the page but doesn't know how to make them happen in real life. And then they meet fantasy guy and he makes all of her sexual fantasies come true and they end up falling in love as part of the deal. The beginning of this book is solidly in that mold. The heroine is writing some erotic romance, makes the mistake of showing it to her best friend who laughs at her and says, you obviously need some help. Here's a card for some group therapy place that I know of. She ends up going, she meets a hot guy with a ton of sexual experience, which is exactly what she is lacking, and they decide to explore a lot of different kinds of sex and things. And this takes up the first half of the book. And I was really confused by about the midway point why this person I trust recommended this book, because it was only sex. There, was, there wasn't really much of an emotional connection, there wasn't much else going on, but right around the midway point, the emotions kick in and all of the sex that was front-loaded disappears and these characters have to go through some real emotional work together in order to come to a place where they can join in a relationship. So it starts off with the sexual side and then turns to the emotions and all the inner workings and they're working through some real problems here and some real things, some baggage that they're carrying from old relationships and other things and that was super interesting. However, for me personally, front-loading the sex doesn't usually work. It feels kind of flipped to me, and it would take a lot to make that to work. So while I appreciate everything the author has done, and it's a real flip, if you read a lot of romance, you probably haven't read one like this, which is a bonus point for sure, but at the same time, it's not something that I particularly enjoy. So three stars. The next book I picked up was Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. This was a buddy read with Shannon over at That's So Po. Do check her out down below. We knew that this would be a heavy book going in, that abuse would be a major theme, but it wasn't quite what we expected. I don't want to get too hung up in the plot, but we're following three seniors at university, two are basketball stars on opposing teams, and then there's Iris. She is dating the star, one of these stars, and she ends up meeting the other one in a bar, and all these things start happening. And Iris's relationship is not, it's not a good relationship. And if you know what an abusive relationship can look like, if you know what the red flags are, you will see them pop up time and time again, and you just start dreading, oh no, it's going to happen to her, this is not going to end well. And so Shannon and I were okay through that. However, at the point where it looks like she gets out and she gets away from her abuser and you're finally like, yes, things are gonna change, they get worse. They get really, really bad. And this was the point where I gave up because I personally, I have only so much emotion and so much heart to give people and my first priority are my family and my friends and my patients. And there's only so much of my emotional bandwidth that I'm going to give to a fictional character. And I'm willing to put up with a lot, especially because this came highly recommended. I know a lot of people like it. And the writing is indeed good. It pulled me through. I couldn't put the book down until we got to this part. But uh, I found my po 